Hi, I'm Bill Denninger, VP of Products for Rift. I'm going to show you our machine learning, deep learning uh, demonstration here at SC17. On this particular slide, we're showing you FPGA as a service. We're looking at the FPGAs as a service because we see the value in being able to, to make it easy to use for customers. So acceleration is important, and that's the value you're going to get out of the FPGAs. But the key and the, and the trick for making it be successful is making it easy to use. So how, how does this uh, technology allow it to be easy to use? Well, the first thing is we're not requiring you to use a particular neural network. You can bring your own, right? So we have tools that are going to move that neural network into the FPGA. So no longer do you have to, you know, are you going to be forced into a particular neural network. You bring the one you want to use. Similarly, everyone's got their favorite machine learning framework. CAFE, TensorFlow, MXNet. Are, are very popular tools these days, we provide integration to all three. So not only do you get to bring your neural network, but you get to use your own particular framework that, that you love already. On top of it is the RESTful API. RESTful APIs are very useful, very appreciated by the IT groups to, for ease of integration. So we actually took the technology we got from Xilinx and got it up and running in this demo that I'm about to show you in basically a day through that RESTful API. So let me walk you through our demonstration that we're going to do here. So I'm going to do this in pieces. In the, in the lower left-hand corner is, our, is the data that's going to feed into this demo. So we've got 50,000 pictures from an image net stored in our Rockville, Maryland headquarters office. And we're going to move that data through AWS Kinesis into the AWS cloud, an F1.16x large in our particular case. We're also going to move some log data. So think security. Think the fact that we've got pictures, we've probably got motion detector information, we've got alarms on doors. The alarms on doors and the, and the motion detection is going to come through the log data, but the image stuff obviously is going to come from this other sensor um, through the Kinesis piece. So both come through Kinesis. The log data is going to go directly into Elasticsearch, a very popular open source tool. The pictures come into our instance. We're then going to pass it through that RESTful API we talked about into getting image classification. Basically, tell me what the picture is a picture of. From that information, we're then going to merge it with the XF attributes date and time the picture was taken, the Latin long for where the picture was taken, what the camera settings were uh, that was used when the picture was taken. At that point, we've got a super metadata file. And we can look at that with the pre-index capability that Rift offers with Elasticsearch. We're also pushing that data into a homegrown dashboard we have so you can actually see what's happening here underneath the covers. Now, one of the things that this particular customer that we're modeling their use case does is he cares about the 50,000 pictures, but he actually has a particular watch list that he's looking for. Maybe he's looking for pictures that have, or pictures of guns, for example. Right? He wants to be alerted on them, and he wants to be able to see them you know, very quickly as opposed to going through the entire pool. We're also going to merge that data into other tools like Tableau, which is an industry-leading data visualization tool. Elasticsearch, as this data gets ETL'd and indexed, Elasticsearch can then do you know, further investigation and search capabilities, and Google Earth used for geospatial capabilities. So let me walk you through this demo uh, uh, live. Okay, so this is an SSH to a server in our Rockville, Maryland office. We're going to crank up uh, the AWS Kinesis. This will take a couple seconds. So now you can see us moving JPEGs, right? So our 50,000 pictures are going to be moved from Rockville into the AWS cloud in Northern Virginia. So here's our dashboard, and you can see as we're starting to ramp up pictures. You can see we've set a, uh, an alert on trucks. So all the fire trucks, garbage trucks are showing up on the alert list here. Here's the pool of uh, pictures coming by, right? So this is the dashboard. Uh, imagine at 500, pic you know, 500 pictures, we're pulling out the ones in this particular case, trucks that uh, have been set up in the watch list. So let's do a couple other things here real quick. So let's go on Elasticsearch. Here's what that super metadata file looks like, right? 
um, you can see the Latin long that the uh, where the picture was taken. You can see the date and time when the picture was taken. You can see the probability that the cater the uh, image classification is accurate, and it says it's a dog sled. So let's come down here and, and uh, click on the URL, and sure enough, it is a dog sled. Let me exit from there, for example. Uh, let's go into Google Earth. So in this particular case, I've got Google Earth looking at Denver, Colorado, and I want to know what pictures were taken around the Denver area. So from that Latin long, this boundary box here, is what we're basically looking for pictures and you can see there's a handful of pictures that were taken in Denver and I clicked on one and we can see that it's you know Maltese Terrier running here right interesting picture tableau keeping track of our, our watch list right that information looks like a typical relational database but actually it's raw JSON our ODBC connector is moving that data from raw JSON into ODBC into a relational structure so that Tableau can use it. We can also look at the, uh, the various list of uh, items and click on one and you can see that we, in this particular case, are looking for spider. And you see a spider sitting here in the center of a spider web. So once again, it's the power of the image classification joined up with an actual application that really gives it value for the customers at the end of the day. Great, thanks. Thank you.